Methanol is the extremely flammable chemical involved in this incident. It is sometimes called methyl alcohol and can be found in common household products like windshield wiper fluid. But the fire chief in Dinwiddie County told me it was pure methanol that was involved in the incident. And we have learned this is not the first time something like this has happened across the country involving methanol. The United States Chemical Safety Board actually issued a safety bulletin back in 2017 related to the use of methanol during science demonstrations after three serious incidents in Nevada, Colorado, and Illinois where kids were burned during demonstrations. The safety board investigated each incident and then came up with four key lessons learned that they said would prevent future accidents. Here are those recommendations from a video on their website. Do not use bulk containers of flammable chemicals in educational demonstrations when small quantities are sufficient. Implement strict safety controls when demonstrations necessitate handling hazardous chemicals, including written procedures, effective training, and the required use of appropriate personal protective equipment for all participants. Conduct a comprehensive hazard review prior to performing any educational demonstration, and provide a safety barrier between the demonstration and audience. Now we have asked Dinwiddie Superintendent and Fire and EMS Chief if these recommendations were followed prior to the accident last week. Chief Dennis Hale told us a bulk size container of methanol was used and there was no shield in place at the time of the demonstration, which both go against the CSB guidance. Superintendent Dr. Kerry Weston said students told investigators personal protective equipment was not used during the demonstration, which is also not in line with CSB be guidance. She said that is not standard protocol. Dr. Weston also said they follow VDOE recommendations for safety during labs. She said all educators and students go through an annual training and the teachers are supposed to follow a self-assessment checklist prior to the demonstrations. However, they don't have to get the experiments approved by the administration. Currently, there is no formal process in place where they would have to come before an admin or one of us at the central office to have that uh, be approved. Um, that is something we are going to be looking for as, as we move forward with this. We reached out to a number of local school divisions to find out if methanol is used during their science demonstrations. We are still waiting to hear back from a couple, but Richmond told us that methanol is used. However, they have already reached out to all of their chemistry teachers in light of what happened in Dinwiddie to emphasize their safety protocols.